Hi Sandersville Sharks, it's Miss Oakley again. We are going to start reviewing um, counting by tens as we said in the first video. This is going to be our first lesson for the next 20 days. The first thing I want you to do is to make sure that you have either a, some paper and a pencil or a dry erase board and a marker and if you don't have that I want you to pause the video and go and get those things now. Now I want us to kind of warm up by counting by tens from 10, and then we're gonna stop at 100. Do it with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Remember when we count by tens, it's the same as saying 10 plus 10 is 20, 20 plus 10 is 30, and so on. Today we're going to start by making an anchor chart showing different numbers of fingers on different numbers of hands. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start as an anchor chart. I'm going to label it hands and fingers. You do not have to write this. I'll tell you when you'll have to write something at the end. So the number of hands. If I have one hand, how many fingers do I have? Five. One hand, five fingers. What about if we have two hands? How many fingers? Ten. Let's keep going. If I had three hands, I would have five, ten, fifteen fingers. What about if I had four hands? Let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. And you can keep going on with that on your chart if you want to later. We're gonna stop right there. And now we're gonna look at it in a different way. We're gonna think about the number, uh, determine how many fingers are on the number, different numbers of people. So my, uh, my chart's gonna look different. I'm gonna have different labels. I'm gonna have people. and fingers. So if I had one person, me, if I have one person, how many fingers do I have? 10. What about if me and you, both of us had our fingers up, we're two people and we would have 10 and another 10, we would have 20 fingers. So two people, 20 fingers. Three people, say it, 30 fingers. And what about if we had four people? 40 fingers. Think to yourself, what about if we had five people? Here are my people. Let's count by tens to see how many fingers we would have in that group. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. What about if we had six people in our group and they each had 10 fingers? Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 60 fingers. I bet you can go farther than that. Okay, so as you work the next 10 days, you are going to be thinking about working with groups of 10, all kinds. We're gonna be adding and subtracting with 10. And right now we're gonna start just with that base of 10. So this is where you're gonna need your paper or your dry erase board. And I already have a word problem written. And it's gonna be very similar to what you're gonna do in your workbook to the sheet today. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna R. That R means, if you're in my class, you know, that R means just to read the problem. You do not have to write this problem right now. We're gonna read it and we're gonna determine what are, is the important information. There are three people at Malibu Jacks. If everyone in that group has 10 toes, how many toes are there? If you're in my class, what does that D stand for? Draw. So now we're gonna draw that picture. And I want us to review from our first video that you watched yesterday. I want you to think, how could we draw that picture? I hope you said quick tens. Yeah, we're gonna use quick tens to help us draw that picture. There are three people 
I think that number is important in that word problem. So I'm just going to circle that so I know. Three. What are the other important number in that word problem? Ten. So if there are three people and they all have ten toes, we're going to draw this picture. Quick tens. One quick ten. Two quick tens three quick tens, ten toes, three people. So let's count by tens to see how many toes they would have. Ten, twenty, thirty. That W, that's the right stage. Now we're gonna write our answer to the question. How many toes are there? There are thirty toes. There are 30 toes. Okay, you got your paper out. Here's what I want you to do. The last thing that we're going to do, and I know you can do this, we make my eraser. We are going to use your paper. I want you, we counted by tens earlier with our voices. Now I want us to write the numbers 10, to 100 counting by tens. So we're gonna do that together. That's the first number we're gonna use. We're gonna start with 10. 10, say it with me as you write. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I want us to remember that when we have our numbers and we're counting from 10 to 100, those are the counting by tens, that the number 10 has one group of 10. 20 has two groups of 10. Say it with me, how many groups of 10 are in the number 30? Three. What about in the number 40? How many groups of 10? Four. You can do that. Okay, boys and girls, good luck on your worksheets today. They're just like the word problem that we solved together. If you wanna use that R, D, W, you can. R for just read the problem, D, draw your picture, and W, write your answer. Good luck.